Food and drink are an important part of Christmas as well. These days there's a long build up to Christmas and it involves adverts on TV which are often focused on food and drink. It involves Christmas decorations going up and music in shops but it's also a time to start preparing within the home for Christmas. So for a person who's, who has dementia, involving them in activities such as baking is a, a lovely. They're really good ways of, of having fun and doing things together. Mince pies or a Christmas cake. As far as the festive meal is concerned on Christmas Day, then involving the person in the preparation for that is important too. Maybe just preparing vegetables or, or giving advice to you uh, and that's great. When it comes to the meal, there are traditions that we that we follow, um, uh, toasting the, the, the meal in or, uh, or saying Merry Christmas to everybody. And that helps to prepare for the, the meal itself. Use a lot of finger foods. Don't put too much pressure on the person. Um, there's a lot of stress involved in Christmas as well. And it might be that when stress is higher, the person who has dementia has, has loses their appetite a bit. So try and keep it as calm as possible. Good lighting is important. And things like contrasting crockery so that it shows up the meal uh, against the, the multicolored tablecloth that you've got on or something. So share it and um, and share the alcohol but don't share it too much um, uh, drinking in moderation is is fine and and it's it's important to involve the person living with dementia but in moderation mm -hmm.